favorite writers. And he wrote this book to explain, among other things, what it was like. White men. This is the beginning of my, the book I wrote, Angry White Men. These are four angry white men. That insight is what moved me to write my book, The True American. This immigrant begging America on this, on this big book. And she looks at me with these big, proud eyes and says, we don't have enough books on leadership already? You got to do another one? And I thought, well, OK. In retrospect, the decision not to throw the book at Christopher makes perfect sense when I and so I recently picked up a book by Alison Griffiths. And this book was about the uses of instructive media throughout history. Knowledge, theories in a book. Greatness is understanding in action. Practice over and over. Iquana, who had a book with pictures of men and women looking for love. And as the story goes... Read a book and I'd say, let me go visit this person in person. So I went to New Zealand, Australia. of writing after that, and I wrote another book that just came out last year, and that one was really beautifully. About you and Stephen Kotler in your new book is the altered state's economy, right? That and the book Map for Life, a life management book by Glenn McQuirk that my mother insisted for five years. I get a, a thick book uh, full of uh, death, destruction, strife, and chaos. Uh, that's that's uh, that's what I take with, my, with my morning tea. So, um, I think of there was a book uh, called Blue Zones. So often we think of the world as the rule book, the decider of fate. We don't think of ourselves. Uh, not that I didn't like it. I intensely enjoyed.